Hello guys, this is Gavin back on Jessica Quark and yep, we're doing another movie review. And this time is on the Wild House movie. I just watched this yesterday on Netflix. And in case you don't already know, I'm a massive fan of the TV show Wild House. And also Technically, the cost of one base, I think that's how you pronounce it, is a spin off. And for the white of the live action holiday special. Figure, why not check out the movie? Okay, so the plot of this movie is, you know, basically, like right the show, we have Winkin and his ten sisters, and his sisters are very popular than him, and. He wants to meet his hen ancestors from Scotland. So they go on this vacation to Scotland. So Lincoln can be special like his sisters. I will say this. This isn't good as the TV show. I will admit that. It wasn't as good as I expected it to be. But you know. I had a good time with that movie. And by the way, this is also a musical. They have some pretty interesting songs. I like the story to it. I love how Lincoln wanted to become the Grand Duke. Just so he can be special like his sisters. The story is pretty good. The soundtrack is pretty good. And some pretty interesting memorable characters. Like they introduce Angus. He was a pretty memorable character. And speaking of characters, there I had some pretty downsides of the movie. One of them is being the villain. She is so cool. She she got really mad when she found out that the Wilds are gonna take over Scotland or whatever, whatever. And she wants to become queen. And I didn't Watched this movie to see it had a good villain. But. One thing I love about movies is villains. But. This is one of the worst villains. That I ever saw. Besides the villain in the Enoji movie. And Weep. 
And what? And I also didn't like how they treated Winkin like garbage. For like the beginning of the movie. They just butchered him. But either way, if you're a fan of the Wild House, go check it out. It's on Netflix. I mean, some people that I heard of lost the little respect of the Wild House from after one season. I don't. Season 5 or season 6? I don't know which. To be honest. And there's people complaining. That. There's going to be a live action Christmas special. I'll actually get the, Chris, the live action Christmas special. A uh, chance. I don't know it will be good as the show. Well, Mickey has made a lot of voice action stuff. They did it with Fairy Odd Parents. Sometime last decade. But. The Wild House movie sure may not be as good as three of the Spongebob movies. It's not as good as Jimmy Neutron. Not as good as Good Burger. But I'll say it was better than... Stuff like Hotel for Dogs. And no, I have not seen the Paw Patrol movie and I don't plan to. I guaranteed the Wild House will be better than this. Same thing with Doa. Which I haven't seen the Doa movie and again, I'm not planning to is I don't like the show. That's beside the point. Okay, so... I'm gonna get the Wild House movie. A four and a half out of five. It could have been a perfect story if it didn't had such a weak villain. You know, still, I had a very good time with this movie. And, and expect more movie reviews coming out on this channel. I still want to watch Michels vs. The Machines, which I haven't gotten around to watch that. And what else? I might get VO. I think that was his call. It's an animated movie from this year. I might get that one a chance. And I seen Over the Moon, but I didn't pay much attention to it. It did not seem too interesting to me at first, but... I might get it a we watch. But 
Either way, if you're a fan of Mickawodian in the Wild House, you're gonna enjoy this movie. So, either way, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.